Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. 50 pounds heavier and four years ago, I made this video where I talked about what we we're going to do about energy storage once all the easily obtainable and cheap lithium was gone. What were those alternatives going to be? And sodium ion batteries were at the top of the list of alternatives. Well, as it turns out, we're not gonna have to wait until lithium runs out. Very cheap and efficient and safe sodium ion batteries are on the way and they're on the way rather quickly. Economic efficiency is driving this shift. All around the world, places like India, Germany, Sweden, Singapore, and France are plowing ahead with plans to build multi-billion dollar production facilities. In China and India, sodium ion batteries are actually already being used in cars. They've achieved energy densities of around 175 watt hours per kilogram, which is on par with lithium iron phosphate batteries and scaled production is going to begin for both BYD and CATL by the end of 2026. Actually, by the beginning of 2026. This technology is going to rapidly replace lithium iron phosphate batteries in vehicles and for grid level storage largely because the cost savings to the manufacturer is gonna be at least 50% and possibly far greater than that. So that $9,000 BYD seal EV that's being sold in China right now might end up being offered with a sodium ion battery for around 6,500 bucks. In past videos, I mentioned an ETF that I own with the ticker symbol LIT, which is an ETF focused on the lithium supply chain. I wanted to say right now that I no longer own this ETF due to shifts in energy storage and that whole market. And most of that shift has to do with sodium ion batteries technologically maturing. So the United States is absolutely being left behind in the EV race. And the complete lack of serious investment in sodium ion batteries is just going to make this worse. Most companies planning to build large scale sodium battery factories have been allowed to go out of business with Natron Energy being the best example. Natron did build a $40 million facility in Michigan in 2024. They were aiming to achieve 600 megawatts of annual production and they had an additional $1.4 billion factory in North Carolina that was planned to scale production to 40 times that level. The company ceased all operations on September 3rd of 2025, citing funding challenges and issues with commercialization. So what does this mean for the EV industry? It's really too early to talk about specifics, but it's going to be wildly unpredictable. Without trade protections in the United States, Tesla already cannot survive as a car company. If the United States were to allow Chinese EVs to be sold in the United States, a half a dozen Chinese companies selling very good cars at very reasonable prices would put Tesla out of business. If you live close to the Mexican border, cross it and go to a BYD dealership to see what you're missing out on. Tesla lost the top spot in the largest EV vehicle market in the world, which was China, to BYD. They lost the market lead in Europe to BYD, and they lost the market lead in Latin America to BYD. Part of this has to do with other competitors besides BYD taking a little bit of that market share over time. And some of this has to do with price, but a lot of it has to do with BYD having a very diverse lineup of cars that fills a huge variety of needs for different markets while Tesla has a stale lineup and is slow to offer new products. The massive stumble with the Cybertruck isn't helping either with billions of dollars wasted scaling production on a truck that's never going to justify the cost of building out those production lines. Scale production of sodium ion batteries is just going to make this worse. You're going to have batteries performing at the level of lithium iron phosphate at half the cost or less. Beyond EVs, the import of sodium ion battery cells from China that are destined for grid level and home energy storage applications is going to make a difference in that market as well. And it's even probably going to affect crypto markets. The crypto market is heavily energy dependent and it's becoming energy storage dependent as well. Places that are heavily invested in alternative energy are gonna have a much cheaper way to store and use energy in off peak hours. This may end up shifting Bitcoin mining operations to places investing in green energy production. Now I can't make a ton of predictions about how this is gonna change any particular industry, but I can make a prediction right now about sodium batteries. They are a done deal. This is going to happen and they're going to disrupt the market for batteries worldwide on cost alone. The US can start investing in sodium ion batteries now or get left behind. In terms of battery chemistry, sodium is one of the last traditional type cathode materials to be exploited 
and future alternatives like metal air batteries and solid state batteries are a few years away from prime time and they may not end up being all that cheap. Anyway, just my quick thoughts for today. Thank you very much for your time and I'll see you next time.